Hey, hello and welcome to the Word for Today. It's a short video devotional to give us time to think and pause and to be encouraged and to cast our eyes on the Lord. Today's episode, Galatians chapter 2. You know, oftentimes when my wife and I go for walks along the beach, she uh, pauses to look for seashells. She is fascinated by their beauty and their design. And if she sees one that she likes, she makes sure that there's nothing living on the inside of it, and then she takes it home. You know, now these shells actually are uh, come from animals, marine animals, such as clams and oysters and mussels. They are, the shells are mostly made up of calcium carbonate that is excreted from the animal while it was living to protect it. Now, the shells on a beach are often empty because there's no longer any life living on the inside of it. You know, when I think about Christ and his sacrifice for my life, I'm reminded that apart from him, I actually have no life. You know, we could be pretty on the outside, having everything looking like it's all together, but how many people do we know that are still empty on the inside? Our hearts could even be like that calcium carbonate that's hard. The Lord wants us to have life and purpose, which is found in him when him living on the inside of us. Our text today comes from Galatians chapter 2, verses 19 and 20. Let me, let me read it to you. It says, For through the law I died to the law, so that I might live to God. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. You know, outside of Christ, we are dead. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me in me. When Christ lives in us, we aren't washed up on the shore hoping that we could be seen because of our shell beauty. No, we, we can have this life with him and, and we can begin to do the things that God has given us to be able to do when we live with him. Christ gave his life to give us better life now and in heaven when we begin to live through him, through faith. You know, let me ask you a couple questions. Is Christ living on the inside of you? Are you going through life empty, being washed upon the shore because there's no substance and no life to who you are when the waves of life come beating on you? What would your life look like if you let Christ be alive in you? No longer empty, dead shell with no real life, but alive with purpose because he lives in you and he fills you. What if your heart was no longer hard like the calcium carbonate, but it was soft and tender the way that God intended it to be. You know, there is peace and healing when we truly let him live in us. Let me pray. Lord, we thank you that you have come to give us life and you laid down your life so that we could actually have life. And Lord, we pray that we will allow you to be alive on the inside of us. We pray that we won't try to hold up this outward shell that looks shiny and good, but inside there's nothing, but that we would instead be filled with you, that we would raise you up and say we're only alive because of you living on the inside of us. Thank you for what you've done and been willing to do in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, thanks for tuning in today. I hope that you have a blessed day and I pray that you will have life filled with him being alive on the inside of you. God bless.